In the previous episode, we started companion parties and increased our army size, took Dinar Castle and raised it to the ground. We fought a massive field battle and won. We promoted several companions and lost two of our party leaders. Right, and again, we're going to use Dinar Castle as bait. They'll keep attacking it. We'll keep stomping them into the ground. And hopefully we can find some big groups of the step bandits because they're pretty hard to catch. These small ones. Yeah, this is going to be almost impossible for us to catch these guys. Right, we're upgrading anybody that does not need a horse to upgrade. We don't want to upgrade these guys, so we'll leave them. Now, these Kazates look like they're going to siege. No, nope, I was going to say <laughs> there's seven militia in there. Yep, they want to do it. All right, well, that's an easy, easy capture. Oh, they had some nice troops for us, too. We'll take the bandits. And uh, as time goes on, these clans are going to get much weaker and probably leave the kingdom. They don't have any land. They don't really have a way to, to pay these guys. Uh, but they still have a lot of people, kind of surprisingly. But every little bit helps. So Ergin, er 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 you're out of here. Now, there's only one thing better than having a trap base, and that is having more than one trap base. So let's go take Kaisar Castle. Oh, they're actually sieging us down. So I uh, doubt we're going to be able to do it in time. So let's just go take this back. We got three upgrades from that. We'll definitely take that. That's not bad at all, considering we probably didn't lose anybody. All right. Let's see. Yeah, we lost a single person. Now, we actually have a decent amount of harnesses still, so I think we can afford to take more cav. I would like to also get more horse archers, and we have a few of these in storage, so I think maybe we'll make these three horse archers, and then we'll keep pumping up the cavalry after that. And we got our three newest recruits. We got Keith Zeki with the 90-pound composite war bow, and we're, again, we're using the 60-gram arrows. This one recommends uh, around 56 grams for the uh, the bow strength. I don't think we have any 50s. Oh, we had a couple 50s, actually, but that's not a big deal. 60 should be fine. Finn Ongst, again, 90 pound composite war bow because that's all we have and david parker same thing but although i think i had a couple masterworks in there so you got one of the nicer ones so three people added to the horse archer brigade let's go ahead and get them into their rightful position all right we don't want to touch the castle again because then it's going to make us split our troops around again uh, let's keep an eye out for some easy targets I think this one should be 28. It's a pretty big party. We should be able to catch them. But we'll take all of them. Now, we are starting to hit our limit, so let's go ahead and distribute some people back. All right, so these guys are all full. Anything we take is going straight to us, so we do need to try and find some bandits here. Ooh, there's a big one right there, 33. We will gladly take that. They're sending a big army. Uh, uh, look. uh that's kind of a shame. No, we'll let it go. We'll take them afterwards. No promotions on that one. Only lost three. I think it's worth it. It's a pretty big, si pretty good sized army, actually. I didn't really feel like auto resolving it, though. I don't think it would have turned out quite as well. And we did get a lot of gear from that. Yeah, look at that. Wow, a lot of people. Right, we did attract two groups here. Joran, wow. That's a big party for a single noble. Now, they're most likely trying to join up with this army, which we're not going to allow. I'd rather fight 200 and 370 separately. So we'll take this guy out. And he's an Archon too, so this is a big battle. Now, we're going to load up all our cav on the left side. We'll keep our right flank wide open. And we can try and bait them into attacking that from that direction. I don't really know where they're going to be coming from. Well, well we're going to have to push them anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's just advance everybody. Everybody be on, on engage. And let's lead the cav ourselves, see if we can get a, a head start on picking off their melee cav on the left flank. All right, yeah, they are charging in. Right, we'll shield wall. I should stop a few. Ooh, the horse archer lets Medius dome somebody. Right, group 8, let's have them sit right here on the flank. Maybe they can pour some arrows into them. Risky plays, man. Risky plays. But we're gonna do it. This is why so many of... <laughs> so much friendly fire happens, I think. Because of this. I will let them do their thing. Alright, so they're engaging their cav into our infantry. Interesting. Not, not the brightest. Actually, they sent their, their other cab over here as well. All right, let's get the cab up here again. Looks like the lines are about to meet. Yep, they met already. Let's charge them in. They've got some pretty beefy infantry here. And actually, their cab are... What are they doing? They're fighting with our... Our infantry, so let's get our cab mixed in here. They should be able to do some damage. And our let's get our ray, uh, our horse archers in here as well. Protect our, our flank. Alright, they should be okay for a while. Yeah, 
Okay, we probably should have taken this a little bit slower. Maybe I'm getting a little impatient. You know how it is when the campaign starts to get a little long. Start making poor choices. We'll spend some time picking off their archers while everybody else is engaged. That might be their noble. No, it's kind of crap. Alright, they're pretty much dealt with. Let's go and charge everybody. We've got a few archers here to deal with. Actually, the infantry are already there. Let's leave them. We'll pick off these retreating guys. I'm not sure if we got all the nobles on this one. Actually, there was just one noble. I don't know if we got him before he's going to retreat, though. So let's take these guys out. Just in case we don't have to fight him again. All right, two upgrades. We'll definitely take it. All right, let's see. We only lost 30. Not bad at all. Oh, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> no, Thomas. Thomas the Dank. He went down in a dank, deep forest. Well, you will be missed, but we are going to replace you immediately. We're going to take your gear and put it on somebody else. So, unfortunately, we did lose somebody. Oh, wow. We got a lordly legionary mail and some lordly gauntlets. So we got some really good gear from this one, even though we lost somebody. And before I forget, let's go ahead and strip Thomas the Dank. There you are, Thomas. Oh, this is the worst part of my job. Stripping people down when they're dead. And they didn't even have disinfectant back then, so you're just wearing somebody's dead gear. I guess maybe you dunk it in the river or something, but pretty gross. All right, well, it's been nice knowing you, Thomas. So first order of business, we did capture Apollonia. Actually, I thought it was somebody else. Is that who we fought? Yeah, it was. No, I thought that was from the previous one. Hang on, hang on. He got out, didn't he? Joron got out. Wow. What a little punk. Yeah, there's no way we catch him like this either. Okay, well, we're replacing Thomas with Louis the Grey. We got the 90 pound composite warbow and juice box with the 90 pound composite warbow. And juice box, I don't know how you did it, but you managed to get to the front of the list for this beautiful horse armor. That's crazy. Well, at least your horse isn't going down. Let's get shot in the butt. We'll upgrade everybody else too. Yeah, a lot of good upgrades. Some good civilian gear as well in case we do some down combat. Oh, he's going to run right into us. Beautiful. That's exactly what we needed. There's no way we would have caught him. We are going to auto-resolve that. Lost two people. Hopefully not companions. Thank you. We will take all the loot. Yeah, they had some good stuff in here too. A lot of really good upgrades. All right, eye for an eye. You took out our buddy Thomas. Actually, where are you? Somebody's holding on to you. Oh, they got multiple people. All right, well, we got two two executions scheduled. Okay, let's take all the prisoners too. We don't want them. Um, yeah, we should probably go donate. I think we need to get back and defend the castle though. I feel like it's going to go down pretty soon. All right, no sense in checking. They're just all going to be dead. Don't really matter. Joron, you're out of here. I don't really want to fight in the dark, so let's actually donate first. And these guys all have a ton of prisoners too so we can donate theirs it is kind of nice having extra parties because they can hold on to stuff for you yeah look at that it's like 120 prisoners right there 121 pretty close all right so they're up to 10k almost 11 and let's get to these guys before they start the siege because there's like maybe seven or no there's 27 people defending basically nothing though now even though we outnumber them by almost 100 they still have a pretty close balance of power i have a feeling they have a lot of Cavalry. Maybe not so much horse archers. Yeah, the horse archer division is not too crazy. Cavalry, they have about 120. All right, let's go ahead and try the new box again. We'll keep the archers in the middle this time until the cav are dealt with. I don't think they're going to charge in, except for maybe with their horse archers. Let's see what they do. They're actually holding their, their cav in reserve, so let's see if we can bait them in. We should get our cav into position here. The melee cav. Let's put them in the shield wall. Uh, let's get them a little further back, actually. Yeah, that's fine. All right, let's go see if we can entice these cab to charge. I would love to take them out before we assault that main group. We can crush these guys in the middle, no problem. Those cab do concern me a little bit. All right, they don't like getting shot at, so here they come. Maybe, yeah, they're moving back. So they're they're just gonna they're just gonna try and skirmish with us. I will right, we'll peel off to the right, and as soon as they turn, we'll turn back at them again. If we can enrage them enough to actually stay and fight. They're turning again. All right, we're gonna try something a little different here. We're not really getting kills, so let's let's get our melee cab up here as well. I right, know. Are they turning? Yeah, those are our guys coming back. So group seven, we'll have them hang out right here. Push them up to the front. Hey, what's going on? Okay, flush that toilet, flush the other toilet, turn on that left faucet, and then push itself through. Okay. Huh. 
All right, here we go. So they're coming in. They should run right into our shield wall, and then we can get some shots in on their flank right here with these guys. Let's back out a little bit, make sure they don't charge us. Yeah, there you go. We wiped out about 20 on that. I don't think we've really done much on the other, the other charges, so it seems like using them in conjunction. It would be nice to have infantry come up here and do this, but that's fine. Now, interesting, they backed off sooner that time, so let's move the cab up a little bit. Now, we are taking some shots from their, their archers. Looks like they've got 80, so you know what we should do is probably go on the other side. That way we're a little bit further away from from the archers. We could do the same with these cab. Let's reposition them a little bit. I don't know if they're... Looks like they're going to be charging our horse archers instead. So let's just uh, spray them down a little bit. But I can't tell who's who. Alright, we took a loss. It's probably one of our melee cab. It's the only ones that we have that aren't companions. We'll take horses out. We'll let the, the boys handle it. Oh. Oh, I hit below in the leg. My bad. All right, they're down to 10, so we pretty much wiped them out. All at almost no losses. We just lost a cav. But it looks like we're pretty much intact. Yeah, we've only had three people go down. That's a lot of cav that just went down here. Oh, not, not to anybody. No. No Grand Theft Force. So that's pretty much one entire flank of Cav down. And they're still not charging in on that. Oh, wait a second. We just lost a Cav. There's somebody in there stabbing horses. Or no, they're taking, they're taking arrows. That's what it is. All right. Well, it doesn't look like they're going to charge in. So let's not waste any more of our time here. Yeah, look at that. All these cav, these dismounted cav are, are going to join the, the infantry. But let's do this. Let's line formation, everybody. Let's get them into a nice long line. Maybe not quite that long because I would like to get them into shield wall at some point. And I don't want them to be too thin. And then group five, let's go ahead and get them spread out a little bit. Archers are moving up. Let's get our cab back. I think they're starting to poke at ours. Now let's make sure we get our center right with their center. Now they still have only one group of cav. Let's actually move our melee cav on this right flank. See if we can use them to counter their cav when they charge in, because you already know they're going to do that. And let's get the horse archers to stop following us. They're kind of bumping into us a little bit too much. Right, we need to go shield wall here. And let's move the infantry up just a touch. Now they did split their cav finally. Alright, so we'll shield wall with our cav on the right flank. That should hold pretty well now their infantry are starting to come in finally let's get our infantry up here we're gonna put our horse archers on the hill that their cavalry on the right flank were guarding that are no longer guarding so we should be able to get some pretty easy flanking shots here uh, it looks like the cav aren't really defending against enemy cav so let's send them in to take out some archers and we're just gonna put our horse archers right literally on their flank and uh, they can't miss and then melee cav need to start running down their lines. It's actually force. Let's just force move them. We can control them manually. Let's just do this. And look at that. Horse archers are just going to pour arrows onto them. Uh, some of them are still shooting at infantry instead of the guys literally two feet in front of them. I don't know what that's about, but it is what it is. We'll help out with the infantry, the archers as well. I don't want to lose people to those. And once again, I forgot to give Cav the command. They're just sitting there getting shot at. Whoops. All right, their archers are pretty much decimated at this point. They're starting to flee. Right, we're just going to charge everybody in at this point. Battle's pretty much over. We just got to clean up. Now, our infantry didn't take too many losses, it looks like, which is what I was hoping for. We, we took a lot of losses there last time just because of the way we, we charged them in. You know, we didn't use shield wall. Where do you think you're going, buddy? Oh, <laughs> he is greeted by a hail of javelins 
And everything else. Nice. Alright, only two upgrades out of that. That is a little tragic, but... So, let's see what this shook out to be. I think we're still chasing people down, though. Alright, here we go. We lost 39. Nice. We didn't lose any companions. That's what I was hoping for. Alright, who went down? We lost four cav. Six. six cav went down. That's not too bad, actually. None of the horse archers. The horse archers did pretty well here. B low with five. Nobody really did exceptional, but everybody did pretty well. You know, everybody got a little piece. The cav didn't do too much, but I guess they were kind of more of a blocking force. Federico got a little bit of action there. Ribeye, Robert Paulson with four. That's not bad. And then the infantry. Yeah, same thing with the infantry. Just kind of little speckles of kills here and there. Not really anything outstanding. We are taking all the prisoners. And hopefully our companions got some more as well. Oh yeah, we got some good stuff here. Half barding, half scale barding. This is going to be a lot of upgrades. And Nifon is right next to us. Unfortunately, we can't catch him though. Now, it doesn't look like any of the companions had. We got all three that were available. So let's just uh, take care of that. Constalia, Eutropios, and Nortos. It doesn't look like we eliminated any clans off of that, but again, we're just weakening everybody as they try to attack us. And we finally hit 275 medicine, although it doesn't really help us that much because our troops are mostly companions in our main party. So this is kind of wasted, but that's fine. It'll help the, the low tier guys. They'll survive a little bit longer and it'll be a little bit easier to upgrade them now, I think. All right, we got two new people. Ahmed says getting with a 90 pound composite warbow because that's all we've been getting lately, apparently. And Anton Kucherkov with, again, 90 pound composite warbow. Yeah, these guys snagged the good horse armor, so they'll be staying up for a while. And we should have a lot of upgrades for everybody else yeah look at that that's a lot so we've been getting really good gear and outfits from these battles so they are helping strengthen our guys i think we're gonna chase this one down Ooh, i was gonna say maybe if he goes in the mountains i be able to catch him that way but no nope, he's gonna get out it looks like and we're getting siege down again let's go back now this is an army army of one so far but that means there should be more people on the way now they're gonna abandon we should be able to catch yeah i think this is low enough let's just send troops in yeah four losses we can handle that save us a little bit of time and we do have prisoners to get rid of actually i forgot to do that let's go do that right now and yes please we will take all of your loot and recycle it into our group artimendros you are gone as well oh look at that because they paid a visit uh, we will auto resolve actually took some losses in that one seven but i don't think we need to fight that did we take yeah we took messy let's get rid of her and we do need to go donate because we are just filled to the brim with prisoners. There we go. Back up to 11k. And we should probably start recruiting some more people. I think these guys are getting a little light. Yeah, we're short about 200 troops right now from our max. And let's actually get rid of everybody's prisoners because it is, I think, slowing us down a bit. And we want to donate them anyways. There you go. Another 2,000. Add it to the bank. I would love to catch some bandits, but it's going to be exceedingly hard. These guys are so fast now compared to what we are. All right, here's a group of 26 we should be able to catch. Another siege. 110 this time. And again, this time we're just going to push the infantry pretty hard we'll stop them before they fight and put them in shield wall they've got very few cavalry so we'll just send our cav in we'll mop them up all right let's shield wall we'll get them positioned right here that should induce a couple charges and that guy took no damage at all infantry lines have met let's just charge them in we're in shield wall we should be Oh, outclassing these guys as well. Right, time to sweep in with the cab. Oh, that guy went flying. <laughs> that looked kind of cool. Looked like a, like a stunt man. Right, we didn't take too many losses there, just seven. It should be... Yeah, nobody died. Coming with us for now anyways. Sea Raider Marauder, we can take him. Now, we are actually at our limit. Um, kind of curious to see what is taking up so much space. I'm assuming it's grain. It is 900 grain. We don't need that much grain. Let's go ahead and back off of that. And do we have a herding penalty? We don't. We don't have to worry about that just yet. Yeah, we're stacking up uh, horses. Uh, not super fast, but you know, we're, we're getting them. We're getting more pack animals than anything else. Out of here, Hafisa. Oh boy, here comes Regea with a very big army. All right, let's get in there and defend. Right. If it's just this attacking army, we may have a chance. If it's more than just that, may be a bit of a problem. If they start to pile on more people like that, they're still calling people in. Thousand, two to one. Oh man, here comes more. All right, hopefully we finish that last Onager before they assault. Uh, why we don't want a Ballista? No, I'd rather have all Onager so we can take out siege equipment. All right, so they're actually going in. This is this is going to be the battle. Now I did a vote recently on how you guys wanted the campaign to end. I know this battle is going to be huge, so I saved and reloaded with a new mod. This mod's called Kingslayer Unlocked. We can increase the ratio of killed to wounded for heroes and troops. This is going to be a legit battle. 
So anybody that goes down is instantly dead. So this could be the end of the campaign, or it could be an interesting way to move forward with the campaign. We'll see. We are heavily outnumbered, but uh, if we go down, it's it. It's game over. Any of our companions that go down in battle, game over. They're dead instantly. And same thing with the enemy. So I guess we'll see. Do we go down in a blazing glory, or do we fight to the last man and survive? Uh, this is going to be a tough one, that's for sure. Let's see what we can do. Now, I did remember to switch over to a longbow. This one recommends ideal weight of 121. And we've got 125, 100, 100. So this, this is going to do much better for us. Let's make sure we don't accidentally sell this war bow in case we survive. I would love to survive this battle, but you never know. Let's see what happens. Oh, actually, I think I just gave away that bow. <laughs> we'll have to get it back later. All right, we'll worry about that later. Let's see what, the, what this shakes out. Man, look at that hill. It's kind of good for us, but also kind of bad. Good in the sense that we have a height advantage with our ranged, but bad in the sense that we won't have quite the same angles trying to take out their siege equipment. So that's a tough one. You know what I'm going to do actually is switch this out and let's get rid of this ballista. I want the, f Ooh, not that one. I want the Onager. Whoops. I just replaced it. Yeah, I want the ballista there. I want the Onager here. I feel like it's going to have more sh chances to get shots off. Just like these two, they'll have more chances to get shots off. Really, we need to take out at least one siege tower and the ram. If we don't take out the ram, that's a problem. If we take out only one siege tower, that's a problem. So I think, yeah, these guys are all loaded up in the on the main area. So that's a problem. Let's also look at contingency plans. So if we cannot hold the main gate, we have a couple, I can't even, it's so high up in the map, we can't even go up higher. So we just go through the map. If we can't hold that, we could fall back to here, use this as a choke point. This is a pretty nasty castle. So we've got a lot of options right here. If they start to stream in, I think what we do is we fall back to the second gate. We mount archers on the walls. We keep as many troops stuffed up right here as we can and just pick them off. I don't really know what else to do. Are there arrow barrels up here? Because if it's not, we personally are going to have problems. Yeah, I don't think they put arrow barrels up here. That's unfortunate. They should be down here along this wall, though. Yeah, I see some down there. Well, either way, we got work to do, so let's let's go ahead and spread our units out. I'm going to get rid of one of these infantry groups. I'm going to create another archer group. And let's get them each at 25%. And you also need somebody leading you. Get them bonuses. Let's go ahead and place the archers first. So these guys should be spreading out. We have them on scatter. Oh, no, we don't have them on scatter. We want them on scatter for once. Right, so they should scatter around. Let's get group one of our infantry over here. Yeah, hopefully they can use that. All right, second group of archers, we'll get them over here. Third group, group of archers will be on this wall. And group eight archers will be somewhere over here. Now we've got quite a few melee infantry we got to deal with. So let's keep one by the main gate. And I don't really know. Let's see where those siege towers are going to go up. We can place them somewhere in that area. Looks like one... Uh, actually, that's not it. I don't know where the siege towers go. I think one's right here. Yeah, it looks like it's right there. So group two, we'll keep them close by. Where is the stairwell up? We'll keep them right near the stairwell. Nice and compact. We can move them manually if we don't get good shots off on that uh, that ram. Let's see, the second siege tower will probably go right here. Yep. So we'll keep a group right here. Now group four is where? Group four is this one back here. We don't really need them. We can, we've can. we got the main gate plugged. We've got the other ones plugged. Let's keep them back in reserve. So we'll have them already back here, ready to help. Actually, we don't want them in the way because we're going to need the archers to, to get back there. So let's keep them out of the way. They'll be our reserve unit. So group four is going to be our reserve unit. All right, I think we've got everybody laid out exactly how we want them. Let's try it out. All right, big risks, man. This is... Uh, this is... <laughs> I don't even have words. This is just, uh, we have to win this. We don't really have an option. Right, let's stay on the horse so we can move back and forth quickly. And remember, this is 100% death. You're going to see no injuries here for both sides. All right, we're getting some decent shots off. They're starting to pick our guys off a little bit. I think they have a couple ballista, actually. And even though they're miles away, they're incredibly accurate. Yeah, that guy just got blown off the wall. 
Now, it looks like we're not going to be able to get shots off on this siege tower, so my hope is that we can use these onagers to take out the other two, and we can just focus all of our attention on this one. That may not be the case. Okay, these guys are starting to get hit. Ooh, Ogu's is probably manning one of the, the onager. That was a pretty good shot. All right, they're coming right down the middle. Look at that. Beautiful. All right, we're taking some pretty heavy losses. We're dishing it out more than they're giving it, though. 6 to 29, so we're on pace to where we need to be. But really, the the biggest risk right here is that we can't get those siege equipment dead before they get our lines. So this, we got to really focus on this. Come on, boys. All right, that didn't hit the mark, but it did pick out quite a few people. All right, they are starting to pour it on now. If we stop shooting at those, we just immediately re retreat. 72 to 13. We're doing really well here. But again, this is... It doesn't really matter if those reach our lines. It's GG. Oh, man. They're not hitting it. They're kind of hitting the ram, but not really. I think it might be worth just to abandon the walls in the next maybe 30 seconds if we can't get a good shot. Okay, there's the ram. The ram took a hit. All right, I think one more volley. If we can't get it, we got to back up immediately. Ooh, man, that's a big hit, but it missed. It hit the infantry. Okay, there you go. Ram, Ram is almost dead. One more hit. Yeah, I still don't... I don't think we're going to be able to get two. Ooh, took a hit. All right, they are hitting infantry now. They're not, they're not really aiming at that. Okay, we need to abandon the walls. All right, let's get back. Oh, boys, move, move, move. We got stuff to do. All right, we're going to start giving orders. Yeah, we need to pull everybody back. Okay, so let's start pulling all the infantry back. All right, everybody's given the order to get off the walls. All right, group four will keep in reserve here. And then we'll start commanding them as they come back. Now, I, it's going to take me forever to get up the walls on this. So let's... Uh, Let's command our inf our archers. Our archers are going to be the key to winning this. It's Oh, can they not go up there? Yeah, they can. Okay, they can go up there. All right, group five, group six, group seven. We should be able to get them into a decent position here. All right, group seven's in there. Oh, Oguz is going to go down. He's going to stay to the end. Yeah, that dude's a baller. Five, six, seven, eight. Actually, we need to get these guys out of that formation because they're just going to stay on the wall if they don't. So five, six... Seven, Soldiers. eight. Whoa! Do you see that? Something just went flying. <laughs> All right. Soldiers, group one, move. group two, and then group three is gonna stuff forward. the entrance as well. All right. Archers are starting to take position along the walls. Let's uh, let's actually join them. We don't have an arrow barrel up here that I know of, so we do have to pick our shots. We have 102, which is more than enough to do some damage here. We are 35 to 203. We're in very good shape here. They are starting to, to storm in. All right, these guys are going down with the ship. Yeah, look at that. That is a very admirable sacrifice, boys. You're making me proud. All right, here they come. Here they come. Is this going to be the end? I really, really hope not. All right, why are those guys stuck down there? No, what are you doing? All right, well, it's, it's too late. They, they didn't make it in. They can't really... I don't think they're going to make it in. Those are archers, too. Yeah, they're supposed to be up here. I don't know. They got stuck, maybe. Let's get all the inf melee infantry into, into shield wall. All right, so group five can stay up here, I think. Yeah, group six is along that wall. That's fine. Seven and eight. I think eight's the one that's stuck down there because they're just not on that wall at all. Seven, can we spread them out a little bit better? No, we can't. Okay, well, that's it. Oh, man, people are dying. All right, we just got to start pouring arrows in. And we're, for some reason, these guys don't have a good angle. So let's see if we can get a better angle. They, they need to start getting shots off. Oh, wow, they're already in. They're pushing in hard and fast. All right, we need to do something here. So group five is dead. Group five was the one that was down there, actually, maybe. Looks like. So let's spread these guys out a little better. And same thing with group seven. Okay, they can actually go up there. That's good.
uh, spread them out a little bit more. There we go. Now we can get shots off. Actually, shoot, we could have just kept them back here. That would have been even better. We should have retreated sooner. That was a mistake. Maybe a fatal one. I'm really hoping it was not. But the fight for our lives, boys. We're going to make every shot count here. Right, let's get down there. Oh, look at this. This is just a massive mosh pit. There's just troops everywhere. Alright, they don't have a way to go back there, so I think we're in good shape as long as we just hold. And we're get looks like we're getting the better of the kill feed here. I don't know if it's because our archers or melee infantry are doing pretty well. But we're picking shot. Whoa, look at that. <laughs> oh, spit him back out. I think that was one of our guys too. Well, at least he doesn't have to get stepped on, man. He's got an honorable death. Right, that seems like a pretty lousy way to go. Like You get your last few moments and you're just getting stomped on by everybody. Right, here we go. Let's pour it in where we know we can get some good shots on, on armored guys. I see some pretty heavily armored guys here. Don't want to waste shots on their on their shield, though. Right, this. Oh, no, I hit a crossbow by our own guy. All right, how about the guys in the back that are immediately next to our own? Yeah, here we go. All right, status report. We are holding firm. It's it's not looking great, but it's also not looking like a hopeless cause. I think we actually have a chance here. We actually do have a chance. Just got to keep pouring it on. Especially the guys that don't have shields. We don't waste our arrows. Man, look at that. Our guys are holding really, really strong right now. They're just not really giving much. Oh, I see some of our guys getting mixed in there. That's not good. All right, let's see if we can clear out this pocket. They're they're kind of pushing through and making a little pocket right here. And some of our guys are getting stuck in the middle of it. Let's see if we can clear that pocket out for them. Oh, they've got good shields. Oh, there's an armored guy. Yeah, the veteran cavalry just took one to the throat. All right, I see some other good armored. Oh, no, barely tamed. I shot you in the head. He tanked it, though. Oh, he just died. <laughs> I feel like we had a, a role to play in that death. I'm sorry, man. I'm going to go shoot into the hallway now. It's pretty hard to hit our own guys in, in the hallway, so... Yeah, we're just gonna... Anybody's head peeking up, they're gonna get get an arrow in the, the top of the head. Alright, how are our archers doing? They're kind of shooting, kind of not. This is group 7, I believe. Maybe we can get them to turn around the other way. Yeah, if they're not gonna shoot down, maybe they'll shoot inward. Maybe that should have been the play all along. Let them in. Just create a nice little kill box right here, and we could have had our archers along this wall back here. Shooting at them the whole time. It's not too late. We could move them around. They're kind of getting shots, though, so I think we'll just leave it. we got 42 more arrows. Let's make sure we get them off before it's too late. I don't want to lose this battle just because we're being, being lazy. Doing too much talking. Oh, this is intense. I see a lot of our guys getting kills, but I also see a lot of our guys get killed. So we're, we're taking some pretty heavy losses. Alright, our infantry are starting to filter down there for some reason. It doesn't really make sense. Definitely don't want to send them down there, but I feel like if I try and order them somewhere else, it's going to make it even worse. We'll just let them go. Ooh, I see a good helmet. Yeah, there you go. He took 15 damage. Wow, that guy's got some armor. 64. We got him right in the ice pit. Right, one more... There we go, he's down. The Vladicon. And I see a banner bear. Let's see if we can take the banner bear out. That might not be a bad idea. Now it's not gonna be exactly where the flag is. Oh we got him. That was it. We just dropped it. I was gonna say it's gonna be to the left of the right, because he's holding it in his hand. Alright, 15 arrows. We are starting to run thin here. We might want to go pick up a, a weapon off the floor. Preferably a pole arm. Yeah, we can probably get some hits in here on the right flank. It's starting to fall a little bit. Now, I don't know, this is, this might just be the first wave. If this is the first wave and they got more coming, we are in deep trouble. I see more people kind of piling in in the back here. That's definitely not ideal, but let's see if we can, if we can make it work. I don't want to shoot my own guys. Come on. Oh, we're out. This is the last handful of shots. All right, that's it. Are there arrows down here? Not really. We can take the spear, though. Okay, we will take the spear. Alright, boys. Your fearless leader is here to join you. 
Oh yeah, thrust him in the back of the head. Get on our lawn. You don't belong here. Are they retreating? Oh, I think they're running. They ran. Holy crap, we did it. Oh man, I don't even want to know how many people we lost. This is going to be nasty. All right, we're going to take some longbowmen because we're going to need them for the walls. All right, let's actually give everybody the charge command. I don't know if we'll be able to get some extra kills off of this. Oh yeah, Hades Prime got one at least. All right, let's arrow barrel up. Let's see if there's anybody we can shoot at. All right, there's one kill. Uh, we can't aim high enough. Oh, we hit a shield. <laughs> Yeah, that's too far. All right, well, we successfully defended. I don't know for how long, or how, I don't know how many of our guys died. We definitely lost a lot. I saw a lot of people dying. Oh, what an epic battle, though. Before we look at what the damage is, let's go take a look. I mean, here's our, our mob. We took quite a few people out before they even got to us. I think we had about 200 kills. Then they broke through, and there was just an absolute savage battle right here. Look at this. Just bodies stacked up. I bet you if this was real life, this would be... They probably wouldn't have even been able to walk through it. There'd be so many bodies here. Just unbelievable amount of death. And a couple up here, actually. Looks like they, they got some good shots off. Yeah, this guy took one right to the mouth. Mouthful of arrow. And this was the guy that got launched up in the air. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Let's see what it is. Oh, I don't even want to see. But we gotta see. Oh, it keeps going. 